Hey there everybody and welcome back. This video is going to be a little bit outside of my normal content, but I thought it might be helpful to you, might be helpful to people just searching around on YouTube. I've installed trailer hitches on any vehicle that I've had that's needed one and didn't come with one factory. And one of the helpers for the cabinet shop that's just at the other end of the building uh, wanted me to build one for him said I'm not going to you know it's a huge liability thing you talk to most other welders they won't do it either but I said go find one and I'll help you put it in and that's exactly what he did it was a U-Haul brand but they look pretty similar to other ones I'm gonna have a link in the description to a video on how to do this for this specific model car um, if you can lift the car up in the air it's really easy to do then but I wanted to demonstrate that you can do it on the ground you don't even have to jack the car up uh, we didn't have jacks or jack stands or anything here at the shop because it was no notice and I keep all that stuff at home normally. Uh, but, you know, we managed to get it done. First thing we need to do is unbolt those two flanges on the exhaust so we can take the mufflers out. These are what the holes look like at the beginning. It's this one. And then... This one. This is the back of the vehicle. All right, so you're gonna have these carriage bolts and spacers that you need to fish into the frame. That's why we opened the hole up. You'll have to take the bolt, which you have on this fishtail wire, and kind of like feed it through the hole at an angle, and then the spacer behind it, like that. And then when you pull it all back down, it locks into place. If you're good about it too, you can only enlarge the hole that's at the front of the vehicle and then feed the wire into the second hole. Uh, that's ideally the way you do it. All right, so this is what you need to do with the bolts that go in on the frame to hold everything up. I used a die grinder to open these holes up just a little bit. You can do it with a drill bit. I'm just not gonna film six inches away with a thousand dollar camera. Okay, so now We've got all the bolts hung. We've got that one with the fish wire that comes with the kit. And this one, we've put a piece of tape on so that when we raise the frame for the trailer receiver, you know, we don't accidentally knock that bolt up into the frame where we can't get it. All right, so we've now got this installed. We got one nut on there loose, and this one's on there without the nut on yet. We're about to put that on. You have to be real careful when you're lifting this up that you don't bop that. And if you don't have enough thread sticking out, it's probably because the carriage bolt isn't sitting square in the spacer. Right. So this little pin right here goes into a like rubber receiver that hangs down just to the outside of the car of where we just added that frame. Huh? Trying to show you what we're working with here. There you go. You see the wires of the exhaust, or those, those steel pieces of the exhaust come up and then go into that rubber bushing right back there. Right there. You just poke it in and slide it back until you can get that piece back there lined up. And then you tighten down those nuts. Those are 5 16 And the ones for the trailer hitch are 3 quarters. So if y'all found that helpful, help. Go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button if you want to. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm an idiot or look like Samuel Tarley or something. I hear that all the time. Uh, otherwise, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.